Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, and this is episode 32. Woo! <laughs> 32 freaking episodes. Okay, I- I'm-, I'm excited. I'm excited. I know I bring it up every night. It- it's just, um, I went from never doing a podcast in my life to doing 32 episodes, so this this is cool. This is cool. We got some other stuff that we're going to be working on. We actually have, like, Almost hmm, like two more um, podcasts that we're working on, uh, different angles though. The Good Night Freestyle podcast, I actually did more so out of necessity. I I, brought, I talked about that in the first episode. If you haven't haven't heard any of my other ones, please go back check them out. Please excuse uh, the roughness. You know, I I went in, I stepped in totally cold, and I'm hoping that, you know, I I feel it. I I think as as I go along, I'm getting a little more comfortable. Um, It is, it's it's a challenge, man. It's a challenge. I don't have anyone in here to bounce off of, you know, Um, no script, no, no, uh, no bullet points. I'm just like, I just want to go out there, but it's kind of working for me. It it feels therapeutic. Uh, You guys are helping me. You really don't even realize that you're helping me out. So I appreciate that. I appreciate everyone who's logging on. I see it. Um, those who are leaving comments, uh, I, I appreciate it. Uh, please, again, if you guys have questions, um, you can start checking us out or going on to the Good Night Freestyle podcast on um, uh, Facebook. Uh, I think I'm going to try to push the community in that direction. I'm trying to look where I, where I should be um uh, really keeping this as a home. Uh, the platforms that host uh, the podcast and that distribute the podcast, um, well, I haven't seen a comment section. Like, I don't know how you would interact with people. So I need to investigate a little bit more. But that really wasn't my goal anyway. You know, I figured in time, I'll learn more about that and I'll start opening the doors and just kind of... Uh, kind of get the ball rolling so but anyway um today's actually february 1st so uh like i said we started this podcast january 1st we went 31 episodes this is 30 uh, episode 32 um and um and it's the first of uh february so it's cool i feel good i feel accomplished and uh, again i appreciate it um and let me see on the 15th, I mentioned we are headed out to Fresno. You guys, if you guys could see me now, I would, if I had the balls, I would snap a picture and post this picture on, you know, one of the social media <laughs> sites, but you guys see me. I kind of, you know, when I'm not on the road and I'm trying to work creatively, I um, I get a little grungy, man. It's just, it's, it's something new, man. I, I've been probably doing maybe maybe just for the last year um, where I'll just kind of let my hair grow out a little bit. I let the beard grow out. There was a time I couldn't let the beard grow out because it would itch, itch the hell out of me. Even now, like, if I let the hairs grow under my, like, where my neck is, it gets really itchy. Like, at nighttime, it, it really trips me out. So sometimes I have to actually get up in the middle of the night just to shave, like, the neck area. So I'm not used to it. Um, I don't particularly like the way it looks. Uh, but then I see other people who, you know, but again, I'm not grooming them. I'm, I'm really, really, I don't know if you ever seen them actors that in between sets, they look totally grungy. Uh, of course, I don't go anywhere. I work, you know, my, my, I work from home and yeah, I jump in my Jeep and I go to the store and I come back. So I'm not really interacting. But of course, before I hit, I hit, I hit the road again, I go on, I go on the road. My barber, he'll be he'll be cracking on me though this time <laughs> because I kind of I went all out. He's gonna look at me and be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but uh, well, it was kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, 
Well, I'm kind of, I'm ready to cut it down now. And um, just, uh, just, yeah, I've done this, I did this one time before. My wife says I was having a, mid- <laughs> a midlife crisis, you know. Yeah, I get a little loco sometimes, and uh, I was letting everything grow. And I knew I didn't have shows for, for a minute. And I remember I started trimming. Like, I didn't want to go. Like, I hate lines, man. I hate bar- I hate to go to the post office. When we go to Walmart, I'd rather sit in the car. Unless I'm buying something that I like. You know, I'll go into a camera store or something like that. Shop around. Or if I'm building something, um, I'll go into Lowe's. And, you know, but I can't do supermarkets, man. I can't do any of those. Those things drive me crazy. I can't do post offices. I can't do... Oh, I mean... It, it drives me, it, it really, it drives me crazy, so, um, and then barbershops, like, I pay my dude extra, so that way when I walk through the door, I can go right to the seat, but sometimes that's impossible, because he'll have someone already in the seat, so it's like, a, you know, I gotta play a little game here, and I hate it, and there's been times I've turned around and left, the only time I don't leave is when I need a cut because I'm hitting an airplane the next morning, or maybe that evening I'm, I'm, sh- I'm shipping out, so, uh, but, you know, every once in a while I'll take out my clippers, I'll just try to trim a little bit and try to shape it, I'll do the beard, I'll do a bad job, you know, for, you know, just to make myself comfortable, get around the ears, Angel might help me with the back, you know, I used to have my dude come over here, uh, but the lighting wasn't wasn't all that, and I have studio lighting for like my my camera setup. But those are halogen lights; those things get really hot, you know. I got some LEDs now, I, but I didn't want it. I just didn't. So he's like, "Yo, the light's not good here." So I said, "Okay, that's fine." Um, I didn't really didn't want the dude coming to it. I didn't want I didn't want the traffic in here come, coming to my house and stuff like that. I'm just so. Um, so you know, I trimmed it one time. I trimmed, I trimmed myself up, and I remember make, <laughs> making a mistake. <laughs> so you know, you start, you start messing with one side, just like it, every dude who has a mustache has done it. You shape one side, boom, it came out a little smaller or a little lighter than the other side. So what do you do? You go to the other side, you try to trim that. You get it, you mess with it, boom. Then you look, you notice you did that one a little bit too much. So you go back to the right side <laughs> and you trim that. Next thing you know, man, you, you're looking like Hitler. So that happened to me one time. And this was, you know, several years, right? I think Angel told me it was probably like eight years ago. So I'm 53 now. So what would that be? That would make me, I don't know, 45, right? 45, yeah, 45. And, um... What happened was I started trying to trim my hair <laughs> and I kept on going back and forth and I just couldn't get it right. And before you know it, for the first time ever in my life, I hit those clippers hard and I I, I made myself bald. <laughs> Yo, I took all the hair off my head, but, but I left my beard <laughs> and my beard, <laughs> My beard was full. <laughs> I mean, it was a, a pretty as full as it could get, you know. And uh, I remember <laughs> uh, everybody who saw me. I remember my daughter seeing me, her eyes opening up. Angel saw me, was like, "What the hell?" And then <laughs> and my nephew saw me, Eddie, and, and everybody's tripping on me. And I'm like, "But I knew I had some time for the hair to grow back, so I wasn't really, I wasn't tripping. It was just like I, I just wanted to do it. But, 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 but I'm gonna tell you where." <laughs> That whole midlife crisis thing came in, which is so funny because we talk about it to this day. For some reason, I don't know, I must have watched something on TV or a movie or whatever the case may be. And this is weird. This is weird. You guys going to think I'm bugging. I got this little desire to learn to paint. Okay, you know, regular paint. Canvas with some paints. And... I wanted to give it a shot, you know, and I had some time on my hands. I remember we were in between, you know, things were just slow. It must have been, like, close to the holidays. I remember going to Walmart, picking up some, like, I don't know, they were, like, 9 by 12 canvases. I got myself a little easel. <laughs> the only thing is I bought the wrong paints. I bought oil paints, and I didn't realize at that time. I even bought the little, um, 
what they call a seed oil i forgot what they call it it's been a, it's been a minute and it's almost like a, a a dilutant that you put with the paint and it thins the paint out a little bit and it, it helps you it just helps it spread better but the problem i had was i used oil paints now i didn't know the difference between oil and acrylic so apparently oil takes forever to dry forever i think the painting i did took like a week to dry i'm serious acrylics apparently i've never painted with acrylics they paint right away the one they they dry right away the one who paints a lot is my daughter erica so erica has painted and i learned later on she kind of told me the difference but what did i paint you you might ask okay i've always been a pretty good drawer i could draw okay and if i i could pretty much draw anything i want to draw if i take my time so i don't draw enough to like just sit there and just kind of pop something out in a few minutes. I, I don't have it like that. If I would have kept on, I would have, because I was really good, really young, and I, I taught my daughter a lot of the basics. I taught Santana, my granddaughter, a lot of the basis, basics of what I knew, and some of the stuff that I started learning how to draw when I was a kid, you know? Um, certain animals and, you know, whatever. And so they both did that. Erica kind of took it to another level. She, she paints a lot. Uh, Santana's pretty good too. She loves to draw and do all that stuff. So the girls are really artistic. Uh, my whole household, I think. But anyway, um, so um, what I ended up drawing, actually, what I ended up painting, I sketched it first is what I'm talking about drawing, is, was my house, okay, from outside. So it's like, I think I took a picture of my house, or I had a picture. I put the picture down. And I just drew my house. And I think I have a pretty cool house, you know, it's one, so one story, just the way it's laid out. I thought it was really cool, the way it's shaped. I have, you know, X amount of gables on it. And a very simple home. Uh, but I drew it, or drew it, whatever the hell you want to say that. Um, and then I went and I painted it and I tried to match all the colors. I actually still have that painting. I know it's here somewhere. It's in my office or it's up in the attic. It's somewhere. I will never throw it out. <laughs> but I must have spent, I swear, like two weeks. So so I want you guys to picture this, okay? So here's this dude, a Latif the booking agent, manager, whatever you want to call it, sitting at the dining room table. I wasn't even in my office. This is, now I do this once in a while. Sometimes I have to leave my office and go into another room to kind of clear the head. So if I'm writing or if, I, if I'm trying to break into a new project I'm working on, sometimes I have to change my environment just a little bit, just to kind of get the ball rolling. So sometimes that's even me turning around from my desk and working on another desk. So I have like, or I'll put a table up. I have some folding tables that allows me to just turn around. I can put the stuff on there. They're big white tables, so there's plenty of room to write, to write on and to do what I have to do. And I can start working from there. Same thing when I write my books. Okay, I have computers that I work on, computers that I do graphics on, and then I have a computer that I do not connect to the internet. This this computer is strictly for my books. So it has the programs I need in, in for the books, and that's where I, I, I do everything. I don't go online with that at all. So anyway, and that stays tucked away when I'm not using it. In, a, in And that's a laptop. The other ones are all desktops. I like desktops. Um, but anyway... So here I am, I'm sitting in the dining room. I have an easel, it's one of the small easels, not the real big one, so let me, let me, let me fix the image, because the, a big easel, one of them standing easels would make me look even crazier, okay? So no, it was one of the smaller wooden ones, they're actually tabletop easels. I had that up on the dining room, and I had all my oils out, all my, all my paints out, and I'm sitting there with my big ass beard, and my bald, shiny ass head, and I'm painting, and I'm painting, it's a painting of my house with the shingles and all the textures. <laughs> and my wife, bless her heart, you know, she tends to, when she sees I get like this, she basically leaves me alone. She really, I, I got it, you know, let me tell you something, I am blessed because there are several, several times that she probably should have divorced me, and she didn't. She'll she'll snap on me later when I'm calm, when everything's good again. <laughs> but during the process, she she won't mess with me. She'll look at me. She'll look over my shoulder and say, "Oh, 
Oh, that's 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 nice, uh, nice child. You know, but she'll say it very sincere, so I'll believe her. And then maybe she believes she she she's she is sincere. Who knows? Whatever. But it isn't until like years later. <laughs> so, in fact, anytime. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys that open door. If ever you guys see her and you guys are in a conversation, ask her about Latif's midlife crisis when he thought he was freaking uh, Picasso. (laughs) So, but anyway, I went through that phase. And let me tell you something. There was nothing special about that painting. It was about as flat as can be. Like, I didn't do no shadows. Uh... I didn't, I didn't do any, any of that stuff, but, uh, um, but yeah, you know, so, you know, every once in a while I, 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 I break away and, and I, I kind of, I got to go off. I got to, I got to go off to the side and, and, and just kind of, and it's my way of clearing my head. You know, it's my way. That was actually the purpose of this podcast. It was a, a, another way. I don't know. Maybe am I going through another <laughs> Mid midlife uh, crisis. I don't know, <laughs> but because uh, now she'll tell me in a couple years, hey, you remember when you you were tripping again and you decided to do these uh, podcasts where you sat in your office and you basically talked to yourself for twenty five minutes, thirty minutes. <laughs> so, but um, well, yeah. Sometimes I have to break away and kind of do something else um, and just uh, just to clear the head, just to clear the head. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so, but yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that was, that was a, that was a crazy time for me, you know, so, but the hair grew back, oh, oh, and, 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 you know, I kind of was digging the ball look, I actually admire a lot of dudes that can cut all their hair, pop on a hat, kind of look dope, we look young, you know, uh, I was kind of, I was kind of feeling it, except for one problem, I got this big ass knot on the top of my head, like on the top right hand side. And it was a, I forgot what happened, but anyway, something, I, I hit my head somehow, I forgot, it was years and years ago. And I developed this knot, this freaking, it was a bump. I remember going to the doctor and the doctor checking it out. And I said, yeah, I said, um, got this bump here. I f-, and um, I said, what should I do? And he felt it, he played around with it a little bit. I guess to make sure it wasn't a, a tumor. And he said, ah, don't mess with it. Just leave it alone. So I said, okay, you know, but back then I I never had any intentions on shaving my head. I had all my hair. So honestly, you'll never, you'll never see it. But then I wanted to change my style. <laughs> I wanted to try to see if I can take on another route and, and I can't because that damn bump, <laughs> the damn, damn bump on top of my head and if I do any kind of surgery to get the bump taken down, what's it going to do? It's going to leave a scar. So what's the point? You know, so I guess <laughs> I'm an angel. Angel always makes fun of me. She says she's going to get me a little hat. She goes, if I go bald, she'll just buy me a little tiny hat to go <laughs> over the little bump. It's not that big, though, but it's big enough to notice. It's not like uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. He got that big ass knot on his forehead. Uh, yeah, that one, I would. I think I would have had to fix that one. But uh Mine is something like that, but not as big though. Like you have to, it has to hit the light a certain in a certain angle so you see the shadow. Then you can see it's there. But you probably won't notice it if I did it. But if I if I I'm gonna stare right at it. As soon as I look in the mirror, that's where my eyes go. So I'm gonna be like, okay, and I'm gonna start moving around, and the light's gonna cast different shadows. I'm gonna be like, oh, that shit looks horrible, <laughs> you know. So anyway, uh, yeah. So hopefully. Uh, I'm not gonna go through any uh, any more midlife uh, crisis. I might I might be going through one right now. Who knows? But uh, we shall see. <laughs> so anyway, uh, <clears throat> that's pretty much it for today, guys. Not no, I have no freestyle stories uh, uh, to tell you. Um, but uh, listen, we're doing this shit every single day. I'm sure I'm gonna have plenty to talk about as we as we move on. Uh, please, please, please uh, make sure to find me on all social. Please share this stuff. Um, if you can leave me a comment, um, go check me out on the Facebook page if you could. Um, check that out. And um, I'm going to start uploading, re-uploading 
uh, the files directly to Facebook. So they're not going to be links to, to YouTube and they're not going to be um, shares to, to Facebook from YouTube. They're going to be uh, individual uploads of the podcast. So uh, definitely go and check it out and, you know, let's talk. And if you guys have any questions, I'm going to probably put, well, hmm, I'm trying to think, you know, I guess if you have any questions, they're probably going to be more or less uh, based on maybe a podcast that you heard. Like if you talk about something, you know, you leave a message today, it's probably, you leave a comment today, it's probably going to have something to do with this part, this, this episode or, you know, maybe something uh, kind of struck a memory. So, you know, struck an idea for a question. So you can go into that comments of that one. I'll see it and uh, and ask whatever you want to ask, okay? So, all right, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's Saturday night. Please be safe if you're out. Um, if you're like me in your home and you're just chilling, chill, man. Chill out. Uh, enjoy the weekend. And until tomorrow... Good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.